Is a new engine for Halo around the corner, and if so, will it help? In January of this year, a Bloomberg report from Jason Schreier detailed what is potentially happening at 343 Industries and current Halo games in development. Most of what is written in the article has yet to be confirmed through official channels. Jason Schreier has a pretty solid track record. We used to cover his work during the Destiny the Show days here on the channel. One of the major pieces of news in the article was about a pivot to a new game engine, specifically Halo moving development of future projects onto the Unreal Engine. The article states that Slipspace, the engine for Infinite, has been a challenge for the developers to utilize with the engine being buggy and a source of headaches, with lots of legacy code from the 1990s and early 2000s baked in. Apparently at several points in the last decade, 343 have debated switching to Unreal, at least according to the article. Jason states that it wasn't until late last year when previous studio head Bonnie Ross and engine lead David Berger departed and Pierre Heinz took over that the firm finally decided to pivot to Unreal. Jason mentions that this pivot will start with a new game codenamed Tatanka, which was the rumored BR Halo game being built by Austin, Texas studios Certain Affinity. Again, most of what the article is talking about is all officially unconfirmed, so take everything with a grain of salt, but it's mentioned that while Tatanka started out as a battle royale, it may evolve in different directions. Now, what is clear is that there has been some fairly big shifts organizationally at 343 this year. Pierre Heinz was instrumental in the long-term success story of Halo MCC, taking what was an absolute mess of a game with a mountain of problems and working on consistent iterative improvements that really turned the game around in a big way. While Tatanka is likely to kick off Unreal Engine Halo, I have to imagine this is, you know, this is a complete speculation here on my part, not part of Jason's article, just me, that the tech discoveries that they learned through Tatanka should and could help carry over to the other 343-led Halo titles. So what I'm really saying is, Halo has two directions moving forward that I see. Number one, an infinite 2.0 of sorts, where they're working on reproducing much of Halo Infinite's multiplayer in an Unreal Engine environment. Or two, an entirely new live service Halo game built in Unreal Engine. Now, either route sounds challenging, but also exciting. Halo Infinite has just started to hit some positive strides. If you're curious about that, you can check out this video here and it details all the things that have been updated and added to Halo Infinite since launch. Call of Duty HQ has clearly set the stage for a hub and spoke style system for all modern Call of Duty games moving forward. One big menu where you can access pretty much all the modern COD games. I believe Halo will likely be the same. Whether Unreal Infinite becomes a reality or if it's an entirely new live service 343 developed Halo title. I would have to imagine that like Tatanka or whatever Max Hoberman at Certain Affinity are cooking up, it will also be featured alongside Infinite or whatever the modern live service Halo game is. I doubt we'll be in a universe with two totally separate launchers and two separate ecosystems. There's been little to no news surrounding Tatanka since earlier this year. There have been some small kernels from data miners, but I prefer not to talk about those because game development is so iterative. Leftover scraps can lead to like wild speculation that rarely comes true. My biggest hope for Tatanka or any future Halo release is that there's ample time available for the game to have a successful feature rich launch. Look at Infinite right now. There's positive vibes again. And I think the main one I keep seeing is if only Infinite could have launched in the state that it is right now in season four. Let's talk about Infinite 2.0. If they are rebuilding Halo Infinite in an Unreal Engine environment, at least the multiplayer, I see this in a positive sense because there's quite a bit of content that's been generated for the game and the Forge is incredible. I can't see them scrapping that and starting all over, but maybe, maybe that is too much. I'm not a developer and I don't understand all of the technical intricacies that go into things. If it's a whole new live service Halo title, that also sounds like a lot of work, could be quite exciting. There's quite a few elements with Infinite that I think should carry over and some that can be left in the past, but you gotta let me know what you think about this. It's been a while since we heard news about an engine swap for Halo. If I had to guess, I don't think we're gonna hear anything anytime soon about something different from Halo Infinite. And really, I go back to what I said, I hope there's ample time. I think Max Hoberman and the folks over at Certain Affinity are gonna create something incredible, and I want that thing to have all the time in the oven that it necessarily needs. 
Do you think an engine swap would help Halo? Let us know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, do the YouTube things, like the video, and we'll see you in the next one.